The following steps will incorporate the History Brush tool and a noise filter called Median in order to achieve a flawless airbrush portrait as seen on magazine covers. For this lesson, we'll be using data file airbrushing.psd. The first step that we want to take is right click on the background layer and select duplicate layer. Let's name this layer airbrush. Then when you're done, select the OK button. Then with the airbrush layer selected, select the filter menu. Scroll down to noise and select median. In the median dialog box, click on the preview of the image and drag it to the cheek area so that we can see the effect of the median filter on it. Let's increase the radius of the filter, which virtually increases the effect of the filter. In order to do that, click on the radius slider, then drag it upwards to about 20. The image looks very blurry, but we're going to utilize that in our airbrushing. So just go ahead and click on the OK button. The next thing that we want to do is select the window menu and select history in order to open the history panel. Then in the tools panel, select the history brush tool. Now with your history brush tool selected, let's move on over to the history panel and find the median state. Once you do, click on the checkbox to the left of it. The history brush tool icon should appear next to the median state. Afterwards, click on the duplicate layer state. Use the zoom tool in order to zoom in on the image. Then go back and reselect the history brush tool. After you've done so, let's change the brush size in order to start airbrushing our subject. Let's increase our brush size to about 100 and set the hardness to 0%. Afterwards, let's go back to our subject and start brushing away the flaws on the face. Make sure to stay away from the sharp outlines of the face's features, such as the nose, the lips, and the eyes. Let's finish the rest of the face. You might need to change the brush size again to get narrower areas like the nose. Now after you're finished, you can see the before and after by clicking on the visibility icon on the airbrush layer. 